Evenings used to be a challenge for 12-year-old Sam Kakonis. Sam has autism and would use things like electronics to distract himself and delay his bedtime. So his mother started using essential oils, putting things like lavender and frankincense on his head and feet. Now Sam's bedtime battles are over. It has gotten so much better. Like I, if I have to go up maybe once to like tell him to stay in his room, um, that's it versus 10 to 15 times before. And Shannon's not alone. Online, talk of essential oils and autism is virtually everywhere, from personal blogs to parent support sites. They are reporting that they've seen uh, improvements in quality of life and transitioning in their children throughout the day. Um, but these are these are anecdotal. So Jill Hallway is putting them to the test. At the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center's Nysonger Center, researchers are studying two mixtures of 18 different essential oils to not only see if they're safe for children with autism, but if there's proof they work. During the study, parents rub oil on their children in the morning, then use a diffuser in their bedrooms at night. To see what effect the oils have on sleep, children wear a watch-like device called an actigraph that records activity levels. What we find is a lot of these children wake up during the night and it will capture those times so it's got the minutes awake and minutes asleep etc. The study will take a couple of years to complete. In the meantime moms like Shannon say they appreciate that researchers have taken a cue from them and are willing to study less conventional forms of therapy. There are so many of us thousands of us parents across the world that are treating our kids with autism. I commend them immensely. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center this is Clark Powell reporting.